Coming. So as the, as Mark chapter 9 says that if your hand or foot or eye causes you to sit, it is better for you to cut those things up than to be cast with both your eyes, with both your legs, and both your hands into hell fire where the worm does not die. And the fire does not quench you because many of you guys think that hell is a joke. No, it's not a joke. It's not a joke, my friends. It is not a joke. Hell is a place of weeping where they can gnash your teeth. It's a place of weeping and gnash your teeth, my friends. And I came here out of love to warn you. Yes, that Jesus Christ died for you, but you also must repent of your sins. Because we're in the last day, folks. You know, sooner or later, in Macy's, you won't be able to go inside to get your clothes unless you have the mark on your right hand on your forehead, folks. And let me tell you something. I told those people a moment ago over there by uh, Flower Street that if they take the mark, they're going to go to hell. And I'm here to tell you the same thing today. We die tonight. If you die tonight in your sin, your fornication or your drug use or whatever, or your homosexuality or whatever, you're going to go straight to hell, folks. You're going to go straight to hell, folks. So many people die of car accidents, many people die of diabetes, of heart attacks, of who knows what, domestic violence, depression, etc. Etc, 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 folks. And I'm here to warn you to flee the wrath to come, my friends. Jesus Christ can heal you. He's your healer. Hallelujah. You know, sooner or later, I'm going to be coming here more often. You know, if you guys don't have any questions, I'm going to make some gospel tracks with my names on there, with my information, so in case you have questions. You could contact me. If you have Instagram, I know you a lot of young people like to use Instagram. You guys can follow me. You're my brother Alex. You want a ministry called Luke 10 1, folks. You know, we want people to get saved. We want everybody, we want you guys to get saved. I oftentimes see sin as the sea. And I see you guys drowning in your sin. And I see myself as a lifeguard. You know, if you have Christian friends or Christian families and they don't tell you the gospel, if your Christian friends tell you that you could sin every day and every thought word, they, they lie, they're lying to you and they have blood in their hands. They have blood in their hands, folks. Christians do not sin every day. They repent and they forsake their sins and they're turning away from their sin. Because First John 1 9 says that the blood of Jesus Christ, that you confess your sins, he is faithful and just to forgive you your sins and to cleanse you of all unrighteousness, folks. Only through the power of the Holy Spirit, you could get saved, you could receive salvation and eternal life, my friends. Only through Jesus Christ, not by your own power. You cannot do this on your own, my friends. That's why you need Yeshua HaMashiach. You need Jesus Christ to cleanse you of your sins. You gotta forsake your sins, my friends. You gotta obey Jesus Christ. You gotta obey the gospel. Jesus Christ says in John 14, 15, that if you love me, Keep my commandments, folks. It's nothing hard, you know. Even even a kindergarten understands the gospel. For behold, the day coming that shall burn as an oven, and all the proud, yeah, and all that the wickedly shall be stubble. And the day that cometh shall burn them up, said the Lord of hosts. I don't want you to end up in hell, folks, for your sins. You must repent of your sins, my friends. Oh, there's this security guard not calling the cops on me. Oh, never mind. This is guy, he's demon possessed. Good thing I pray here. Yeah, what did I tell the security that if you ask me to leave, I'm gonna go somewhere else. I'm in downtown. I'm between Hope and Seven, bro. Yeah. I said I was gonna record, but I decided to do a little bit of filming. I'm about to be up. Come to Jesus Christ, young ladies, before it's too late. Ven a Jesucristo, jovencito, jovencita, antes que sea demasiado tarde. Si tu ojo o pie o mano te hace caer, córtatelo. Porque más vale entrar con una mano, con un dedo al cielo, que entrar con todo el cuerpo al infierno, donde el gusano no muere. Y el fuego nunca se apaga. Si tú mueres con todo tu cuerpo, no va a valer nada, amigo. Ningún pecado va a valer la pena en el juicio final. No sin is going to be worth it. No sin is going to be worth for you to go to hell, folks. This is why you must repent of your sins. You must turn away from all your sins and follow Jesus Christ in truth and in righteousness, folks. Jesus Christ wants to rescue you, folks. Él te quiere liberar del pecado. He wants to free you from your sins, my friends. 
Good thing this guy sent a message. Yeah, I'm gonna have to I mean, he wants me to go somewhere else, and I'm not, I'm not even stepping here, though, so. Downtown has like some weird laws, that's why I hate it here so much. Get right where I got my friends, before it's too late. Do not end up in no fire. The Bible says, if anyone thinks it's not found written, the last book of life was cast into a lake of fire with this weeping, winning, and actually got teeth, folks. Jesus Christ loves you so much. He died for your sins on the cross of Calvary. You know you need Jesus Christ, bro. You know if you die, you're going to end up in hell, folks. Don't end up in hell, folks. I love you guys so much, my friends. And once I get, I'm not here to invite you to church. I'm here to invite you to God's kingdom. Because I want you to be saved. I want you to have eternal life, my friends. I want you to have eternal life, folks. I don't want you to perish in your sins. I don't want you to get what you deserve from your sins. I want you to go to God's kingdom. You know, if anybody over here needs prayer, I have to pray for you right now, folks. 